All right then, so there's certain characters in Regex, special characters, which don't really behave as you would expect them to. For example, if you place them in your Regex, they're not going to look for literal matches. They're going to behave in a different, weird kind of way you'd think at first. And we've seen some of these already. We've seen the plus sign, which is the one or more quantifier, which says, hey, if you see this after a character, that means I want that character to appear either one or or more times, as many times as you like. That's what the plus special character does. We've also seen the escape character, which is a backslash. And if we place this before a character, then it escapes the next character. We saw that in the meta characters in the last tutorial. We've also seen the character set, which is the two square brackets opening and closing. And if we place anything inside here, then it's saying, okay, in this single position, match anything that you find inside this character set. So they're special characters. And uh, we've also seen this carrot right here inside the character set, which is the negate symbol, and I've spelled that incorrectly, in a character set. So if we place something after the carrot right here, then we're saying, okay, in this single position, denoted from this character set, I want you to match anything except for the characters I place after the carrot. So these are all kind of special characters, and if we place them in our regex without escaping them, then this is the kind of behavior they exhibit. If we wanted to find a literal match for any of these, then we'd have to escape them first of all. So there are more special characters. I'm just going to show you a handful in this tutorial, three to be exact, but there will be more as well as we go forward. So first of all, the question mark, and this is the zero or one quantifier. And if you place this after a character, for example, if we placed a, um, a B or a, a, a T or something before this, then we're saying, okay, well, I want this character to appear, this B or this T, either zero or one at times. So it kind of makes this character optional, if you like, the, the B or the T. And it could be anything. It could be a range before this uh, character right here or a character set. And this question mark makes it optional. It can appear once or zero times. Uh, next up is the period or the dot, whatever you want to call it. And this means I want you to match any character whatsoever, except for the new line character, enter. And if we placed an at symbol, it would match that. If we placed a carry, it would match that. Any character whatsoever. So that's a pretty simple one. And if you see a star, this means zero or more. And it's a bit like the plus sign, but whereas a plus sign means at least one or more, if you place the star after something, it means zero or more. So it can appear zero times if you put an A before this or 500 times if you want it to. OK, so let's take a look at these three special characters inside the online tool. All right, then. So first of all, I want to show you the question mark. So if I first of all type out hello, then I can match it down here by typing hello. This is a match. Now, if we place a question mark right here, if you didn't know about these special characters and the special meaning behind this question mark, you would think that this matches the literal string hello with a question mark at the end of it. But it doesn't. It's not matching this question mark here because that's not the meaning of this character. Remember, this means that the thing before it, the O right here, is optional. So it can appear one or zero times. So this is a match because it's appearing once, the O, and also if I take off the O, it's also a match because it's appearing zero times. That's what the question mark does right here. Likewise, we can place a question mark over here, and if I delete the E now, it's still a match because E becomes optional. We can place the O at the end, and this is still a match, okay? Uh, likewise, if I want to do some kind of range in a character set, I could do something like A, oops, inside the brackets, A, to Z and let's do an A before it as well. So the first A must match. Then if we do something like G after it, that's for the character set, that matches. But if we take off this, it still matches because we're saying this character set right here is optional. It can appear zero or one at times because of this question mark. So I hope that makes a bit more sense now. The next thing I wanted to show you is the period or the dot. And remember, that means match any character. So I could do something like this, car, and then place a dot after it. Now, if I say car, this is not a match on its own because we're asking for a fourth character. And that fourth character can be anything except a new line character. So I could place an S, a D, a B. These are all matches, right? So this fourth character can be anything, even something like an at symbol or an underscore or a square bracket. These are all matches. Cool. So that's pretty powerful, that dot right there. And by the way, if you wanted to, say, make a 
string which is any length long but must be at least one character and it could be anything in those characters then this would do the trick okay so a dot can be anything and we're saying it must be at least one or more times so if i enter any random uh, string right here they're all gonna match okay these are all matches for this regular expression so this is really powerful this period right here all right then so the final thing i wanted to show you was the star symbol and remember we said the star symbol means that the character before it has to appear zero or more times so yeah it makes it optional but it can appear as many times as you want as well so i could say something like a range from a to z and that can appear as many times as you want let's put something in front of it let's say a so first of all a is not optional that must appear so let's do a first of all then this is a match on its own because this can appear zero times or as many times as possible currently it's appearing zero times but if we do a load of letters now then it's still a match no matter how many letters we do it's still a match because this star means up to as many times as you want for this uh, character right here if we enter a number then obviously it's not going to be a match because this is just a character range okay cool so they're the ones I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Like I said, there are going to be more special characters going forward and I'll explain them as the time comes. But I think these three are going to be the ones we're using most going forward. So I wanted to dedicate a whole tutorial to them. Oh, and by the way, if you wanted to match the actual character, so if I wanted to say ABC and then instead of making this thing right here optional, if I wanted to match the whole thing, including the star, what I can do is backslash this star to escape the normal behavior. Then it will match the literal string ABC star. Okay, so that's how you escape that default special behavior. This is the escape character like we saw in the last tutorial. And we can do this with any of the special, uh, special characters we've seen. So if I wanted to match an actual dot, then we put the backslash in front of it. Then we're matching ABC dot okay makes sense same with any of the other special characters plus signs uh, you name it all right so there we go in the next tutorial i'm going to show you two other special characters which we use to start and end regular expressions